You talk about that uh, you've been basically playing since February now from Super Rugby through an international period, yep. Rugby Championship, Autumn Internationals. How's the body holding up? Yeah, uh, I must say it was hard to get out of holiday mode, uh, especially after the Scottish uh, test, but in saying that, um, I was quite uh, unfortunate because I was hoping to come straight after that um, into the system, but my food visa didn't work. So once I got that established back home, straight on the plane, mind you, coming into uh, Birmingham, uh, they diverted us to Manchester because it was uh, raining snow really was, yeah it's snowing so uh it was actually yeah great experience for me uh seeing snow for the first time and making a snowball as soon as i got out of the train and just throwing it in me there hopefully it didn't hit anyone but that no, was great to uh relive or live those classic uh christmas songs finally as well you mentioned the atmosphere at welford road it's very different to stadiums back home oh absolutely it's um, a historic venue 125 years what what a uh, little bit more depth could you give us on your actual first impression even running out for a warm-up the well, his family are allowed one. Let, well, let me take you back to walking into the change room. That was <laughs> very uh, unique itself because it, it's got a lot of uh, the furniture back in uh, the early 30s, of, from what I'm told. But um, it's great to see that there's a certain sitting order that hasn't been changed since. And, um, well, obviously I had to ask questions as to why, but they don't understand it. So it's just been an ongoing tradition. So... Yeah, and then you only have the starting 15 in that side, and then uh, the reserves in another group, and then you have, uh, I'm not too sure if I can say it, but the remaining squad uh, in another changing room. So, um, yeah, that was mind-blowing for me, really, because I thought you'd all get into this one changing room, as I'm used to in Super Rugby, but not to be. So, And then walking out to uh, the stadium was... Uh, Jeez, that, that's quite awesome in terms of running into the actual uh, crowd um, and then running for a warm-up. It's, it's quite the warm welcome. Uh, a lot of the people were wishing me well uh, with my tenure here. So, yeah, well, hopefully I can uh, provide uh, some uh, entertainment for them uh, come along the uh, next few games. I'm going to ask one more. Two and a half years so far, pen to paper. What are the goals over that period for you? Uh, win a premiership. Yep. Win a championship but also uh, hopefully help the up-and-comers push me out and earn the right to uh, take my spot. Lovely. Thanks, man. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. For more highlights and interviews, stay tuned to LT TV.